Perhaps you've been vaping for years, or maybe you've just started. You've heard about Sub-On Vaping and Mods and want to learn more. Put simply, an ohm is a measure of resistance in a coil. Typically, clear amizers are between 1.2 and 2 ohm. Anything below 1 ohm is considered sub-ohm. So what difference does going sub-ohm make? The lower the ohms, the lower the resistance, and therefore your coil will get hotter much faster. The hotter your coil is, the more liquid you will vape, meaning much more vapour. What's more, the lower the ohms in your coil, the more intense your flavour hit will be. Is it that easy? Well, there is a little bit more to it than that. We recommend that when sub-on vaping, you use a high VG, vegetable glycerol liquid. VG is the part of your e-liquid that creates vapour. The higher the VG, the more vapour you can produce. You may also have noticed that you tend to see high VG liquids in lower nicotine strengths. For example, it's not uncommon for someone who normally vapes a 16 milligram liquid to go down to a 3 milligram when sub-on vaping. When you sub-on vape, all aspects of your vapour increase in volume, flavour, nicotine and vapour. Kick Cloud produce a range of 10 delicious high VG flavours, from Bubblicious to Raspberry Ripple. There's something for everyone. For more information on this, please see our introduction video to Kick Cloud Liquids. The last thing to consider is power. It's important to know that a sub on tank cannot be used with any old vape pen and must be used in combination with a mod that can cope with the current of a low ohms coil. Mods are the battery section of an e-cigarette, but they're a lot more powerful than your regular Vape 01, 02 or 03. Typically, entry-level mods start at around 30 watts of power and go up from there. A mod is essential when vaping with a sub ohm coil. The lower the ohms and the higher the power, the more vapour produced. However, some mods and sub ohm tanks might not be compatible. When buying a mod, some suppliers will specify what ohms their mod can work to. Other mods may cut off altogether when incompatible with a lower ohm tank. It's always important to be really smart and do your research when buying a mod. These are high-powered battery devices that should be treated with care. Here at Kit Cloud, we have two mods available, a 30-watt model and a 50-watt model. We've made Kit Cloud kits as simple as possible and ready to use straight out of the box so that you can start sub on vaping with ease. Of course, always read the full instructions before vaping. We hope this helps you with your journey into the world of sub on vaping and mods. You can always contact our customer service team if you need some help or guidance. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.